nine years later, and here we are, Halo Reach Legendary Solo Playthrough, this time on PC. A lot has happened in my life over the last nine years, and literally the first set of videos I uploaded to this channel was a Halo Reach Solo Playthrough. So with that said, let's get this started. Oh boy, I'm gonna die a lot, but that's okay. I'm really looking forward to seeing this experience again. Um, Legendary, we don't have scoring on. I want this to be uh, very story focused, and then hopefully you can get a laugh at me dying. There, there are some grind walls in this campaign that are gonna absolutely shrek me. So uh, wish me luck. If you haven't played Halo Reach's campaign before, I can easily say this is one of the best in the entire franchise. It scales so well in co-op. It is beautiful and frankly, there's no real stinker missions. Most of the stuff in this game is pretty good. Like usually most campaigns have one or two missions that are irritating. I am bummed because I just got the game. I use the pilot helmet. That is like what my Spartan looks like. And that is like tier 70 something in the battle pass unlock you thing. So I'm only tier 15 right now. So we got a ways to go before I can get it. So whatever, we'll just have to put up with it. Your reach Spartan model really, uh, you became quite attached to it. I still remember what most of my friends' like models were and the armor they picked, and the customization was good enough that it really let you lean into who you wanted to be. And it looks so good. Contact with Visegrad Relay was lost last night. All signals flatlined at 2,600 hours. I responded with trooper fire teams, which have since been declared MIA. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources. I disagree. Commander. So that's our new number six. Okay. You read her file. Only the parts that weren't covered in black ink. Anyone claim responsibility, sir? Only thinks it might be the local insurrection. Five months ago, they pulled a similar job on Harmony. Hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears, then stole two freighters from dry dock. That cannot happen here. Reach is too damn important. I want that relay back online, Noble One. Sir, consider it done. Then I'll see you on the other side. Holland out. Boy, I am excited. Lieutenant Commander, sir. I'm Carter, Noble Team's leader. That's Cat, Noble 2, Meal and George 4 and 5. You're riding with me, Noble 6. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing, I've seen your file. Even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. Welcome to Reach. Great introduction. All the cutscenes in this game are done extraordinarily well. I think this is like some of the best cutscene and storytelling Bungie has ever done. I do want to see what a Noble Six origin story game would be. Because Carter tells Noble Six there, I've seen your file, even the stuff that's censored in my mercy. Yeah, I'm happy to have you on the board. That could be a really sick Halo spinoff game. The Noble Six origin story. Listen up, Noble Team. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're going to introduce ourselves to whoever took it out, and then Cat's going to get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. So, why would Rebels want to cut off reach from the rest of the colonies? You got a chance, maybe you can ask him, George. Commander, we just lost our signal with HQ. Backup channels. Searching. Nada. Can't say what's jamming us. You heard her. Dead zone confirmed. Command will not be keeping us company this trip. I'm lonely already. The scale, too, of stuff is so sick in this game. Like, this was a 360 title. I think that's what people forget, man. This is almost two generations ago. Outpost. I always love this, man. Cool flyover. So mission number one, Winter Contingency. A distress beacon calls us in. We have to get that relay back online. From the very get-go, you can see that Bungie has pretty much dialed their mission design in at this point in the Halo franchise, where cutscene communicates what you're supposed to do, starts presenting a little bit of mystery, a little bit of conflict, but it's just 
It's on fire, dude. The game design for Reach was just so, so good. And I won't lie, on PC, this thing is gorgeous. Let's go, Six. All right, Noble Team. Okay, so a few things about this playthrough, housekeeping stuff. I will be playing uh, at 103 FOV. We are on max settings, 1440p. Um, I don't have a 4K monitor uh, for my gaming setup. I have a 1440p monitor, so that's what it's going to be. Hello, Moa. These are oddly detailed models. Shadows look good. Something in the fields killed his son. Something. Commander, be advised. I'm reading heat signatures in that structure directly east of your position. Over. Copy that. Get them back inside. I wonder if they're Moa farmers. Boss, I see movement outside your structure. Noble two, move up to the west. Contact, contact. Here we go. Campaign is using vanilla settings, which means you have vanilla bloom for all the weapons. They put out an interesting developer update post. Talking about how discussing the idea of applying title update settings to campaign. Apparently, for 343 to actually implement the reduced bloom, it's like a mod running on top of Reach. And implementing that for campaign would be like super complicated. But that's kind of a question I've had for a really long time is um, why why wouldn't they apply title update to campaign, right? So now you know. So immediately we see that the Covenant is on reach. Um, I did not know June could do that, dude. What a boss. I don't, I feel like this doesn't ever happen. I played through this mission multiple times in the flight and June never did this. He never took the vehicle and started wrecking like he is. I honestly don't remember the Falcon helping in this portion of the mission. I'm pretty sure that's... There's so many weird things that happen with unlocked frame rate that, like, it impacts teammate AI, impacts all sorts of stuff. So this could be kind of a wonky playthrough, actually. <laughs> One of the main techniques throughout all of a legendary solo playthrough, of course, is burning the elite shield and then uh, one tap and the whole new combo. It is super crucial because on Legendary Solo, these guys will just nuke you down real fast. And they're pretty aggro. Like the AI for the, um, yo, charge. There we go. The AI for some of the elites is pretty wicked. Although I will say this game is very generous with its lock-on range for the plasma pistol. But yeah, if you're ever struggling in the harder difficulty for Reach, honestly, this is this is the go-to method throughout the whole campaign here. Rebels don't leave plasma burns. This is actually one of my favorite parts of this whole mission, is this artwork right here. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this. I mean, that on a 360 is pretty ahead of its time, because I feel like this, you look at this, and this is pretty good even to today's standards see look how aggressive the elite AI is in this man uh, you'll remember that I covered winter contingency not too long ago because this mission has quite possibly one of the coolest cutscenes in all of Halo so this building has a DMR in it and that's very helpful for grunts Shooting grunts and jackals in this game were really satisfying. They, they award skillful play, um, especially in the scored game types like that. There was a real skill ceiling with this campaign, and I appreciated that quite a bit. I almost shot a MOA. You guys need to get out of here. Get out of here. I think Game Cheat has a mod where you can ride MOAs and fire at the same time. Hey, Marines. Man, I love the old school Marine design. Needs more ammunition. And that is pretty much the first mission. Oh, is that a MOA? That's yeah, a MOA. Um, 
in terms of all the gameplay segments. There's only a few encounters in the very first mission. They give you just grunts and elites to work with. There's a few jackals at the start, but for the most part, it's a it's a great introduction. June had the best job this time, giving us that air support, dude. I always loved this bit, though. Like I said, on the 360, this was so impressive. Dude, look how boss George looks. I also would love a Halo George game. Honestly, they could do a whole Noble Team DLC. <laughs> you could you could basically be the original Noble Six who died before this replacement came in. That would be crazy. Hi, Jackals. Easiest grenade. Oh my gosh, look at the physics on that grunt. Now we just gotta hold the line, boys. Just gotta hack into the mainframe, you guys. We gotta hack real hard into that mainframe. It looks so good, dude. I honestly can't wait to see what some of the later missions in the campaign look like. This is just getting me so pumped. Man, plasma pistols are generous in this game with those lock-ons, dude. Don't get stuck out there, Emil. Last time I did this, I think Carter or Emil ran outside. Oh, we could probably push him. Sorry, Emil. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see, bro. I just wanted to see. ODST night vision enabled, a feature that really isn't that useful in this game. But that's all right. Cool cutscene, commence. Where's the rest of your unit? We got split. I don't think they... It sounded bad on the comps. All right, Corporal, stay put. We'll get you a combat surgeon. Damn. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that, Six. Not your domain. I got a live one over here. Uh, come on. Uh, Archie, come. Many an evening. Oh, I don't bake. It's all right. Kill We're not gonna hurt you. You're in yeah. George. I got her. Uh, Keep still, uh, and I'll release you. Make it Vanak. What's the status? Over. We've been engaged. Bad guy coming out! That tangle group has permission to pursue. Negative four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. the door it is so extremely doom like dude it's awesome and you have the, the elites taunting the spartans like the whole thing is just sick and it i wish halo would lean into that more because you could have like a total doom style the cubby slayer as he post put it and it's unfortunate like the the kind of tempo sort of mellows out here in a second Boom. Oh, wow, that didn't, that, that stuck. See, the music cuts out too early. It should keep going through here. I know they wanted to go back to like the more like spooky vibe, but. All right. Flush them out. I've got you covered. Boom, 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 boom. And you can stagger those guys for what feels like forever. Come here, dude. So that's why you absolutely want to have your uh, your plasma pistol ready to go. Because that sword elite is a real pain if you don't know what you're doing. And that is the first mission of Halo Reach, Winter Contingency on Legendary. Very easy. Uh, it gets harder from here, for sure. How long? Question of my life. If the question is, when will the station be back online? Two weeks, earliest. This is plasma damage. All major uplink components are fried. Two minutes is too long. Which is why I'm splicing into the main overland bundle to get you a direct line to Colonel Holland. Hacking into the mainframe. Commander. Find out what she knows. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Do you live around here? 
I'm Evan George. Shada. Shada? Se Potrozumev. Your accent sounds familiar. Shoprun? Tangari. Friend of yours? Father. Shine along. I'm sorry. Why would you be? Big man forgets what he is sometimes. She just lost her father. She needs a full psychiatric workup. She's not the only one. Lock it down, both of you. Get her on her feet. The body stays here. Thank you, sir. Signa. It's patchy, but it's there. I'll take it. Let's not touch anything. You wouldn't want to ground this place. I'm barely getting you. What's your situation? Over? Colonel, this is Noble One. There are no rebels. The Covenant are on reach. Acknowledge? Come again, Noble One. Did you say Covenant? Affirmative. It's the Winter Contingency. May God help us all. So in terms of first campaign missions, I think Reach is pretty good. It might not, I don't know. There's, there are some other missions that are better uh, for the opening acts in Halo games. It's certainly better than Halo 3's opening mission. But I think uh, Combat Evolve's first mission is kind of hard to beat. Pillar Bottom is such a good like introduction to tight quarters and then you get thrown into these big open spaces. All right, mission two, sword base. And again, a huge emphasis on these massive environments. Here's my data tab. iPads before iPads. iPads were out back in 2010, weren't they? advised Kilo 33 and Kilo 34, your current LZ is too hot. Roger that. Dot, stand by to receive and respond. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Initiate immediate course correction. The Office of Naval Intelligence Sword Base is presently under siege from a Corvette class Covenant vessel. Due to the sensitive nature of this facility, use of orbital rounds has been, for the moment, prohibited. Regrettably, my efforts to obtain relevant data on enemy forces have been unsuccessful. Look, Epos. Where the current defensive forces are insufficient. Oni has requested Team Noble's direct intervention to help secure Sword Base. All right, people. We're stuck with that ship for the time being. Let's focus on the hostile infantry. Give those troopers a hand. Dude, the cinematography is so Got six sick. Out here. George Emil, you're next. Get prepped. Let's move, Lieutenant. I wonder if the AI is scripted in that se sequence, or if that's like actually playing out. Look at all the banshees. I always loved that in Halo 3. I don't know how they were able to program it, but it was such a cool thing. Looking up in the sky and just seeing air fights go on the whole time. That always blew me away back in the day. I need a plasma pistol, ladies and gentlemen. So notice how they kind of work up the difficulty level here. You've got some more jackals mixed in. Now you're having to fight like a host of different enemies. I always thought they did a great job introducing just a little bit more and more as time went on with Reach. Maybe the Covenant are like Swedish chefs. That would be a funny video. I want that firefight voice. The Swedish chef elite. Always be careful of fusion coils. Rule one. Now, I think there's a cheese to this next segment, but I honestly can't remember what the cheese is. So I think I am gonna get the target designator just to show you guys how it looks, or target locator, or whatever. I love the Corvette out there. That's just awesome. This would have been a crazy weapon in multiplayer if they ever could have pulled it off. Just calling in a big ol' airstrike. Why not? It's such a cool, it's like Hammer of Dawn-esque, you know? Yeah, call it in, baby. Halo vibes right now, like Mission 2 of CE. 
We just we're missing faux hammer though. Thank you. So again, kind of channeling Halo CE. There's two main objectives. Uh, hopefully my Marine Gunner does a good job. Yeah. There's two main objectives that you can pick um, which one you want to do first. You end up having to do both of them, but. All right, so we'll try a different strategy. We'll try to approach from this side. Cat uses armor lock. I'm disappointed in you, Cat. This is vanilla armor lock too. How could you? Cat's a noob, confirmed. Oh no, I don't want to die now. What did I just get bonked by? Need a plasma pistol, thank you. All right, there we go. And now I just need another needle rifle, if I can get it. Where'd he blow it up to? It's like straight up gone. I needed that. All right, I'll just go over here if I can. Hopefully these guys don't shoot me. Cool. All right. Look at that guy. He has got the hops, man. Dialed on the hops. I think, I think that's it. That's all the enemies. As long as the tank doesn't kill me here, I'm good. But the AI of the tank could just go for it. Nice, good checkpoint. For good measure, why don't we do this? Bye. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your contribution. Thanks. We've already got a car, but I'll take a new one. Take that hog, Six. Take that hog, Six. Hey, cat. Your Uber's here. I've got the gun. Yeah, you do. Any day now. Okay, there we go. Cat on the guns. Come on. Make it happen. Make it happen, cat. There you go. So I just ended up beating Halo 5 on Legendary not too long ago. Gosh, that looks so good. I'm picking up a power source. We're close to the AA gun. And one of the things that I remember is... Whoa, why did my shields drop? That was such a sick entrance. One of the main things I remember when I finished Halo 5 was really wishing that there would have been some better vehicle uh, missions. I don't know why I decided to be a glutton for punishment, but um, just fin finished that thing on Legendary. Oh, DMRs. Thank you. Oh, nice. Where did they get that? Wow, look at the knockback on that. That was wild, dude. Button activated. Don't blow me up. Don't blow me up, Phantom. Don't blow me up. All right, cool. Got the checkpoint. Yeah, Halo 5 Legendary Solo was one of the more frustrating Halo experiences I think I've ever had. It was hard. Um, I didn't know the cheese strats. I, I bet if you know some of the, ch the cheesy strats, it's not that bad. But your AI teammates are so frustratingly dense that it just was such a, it was hard, dude. It was a test of patience for sure. The AI is so viciously aggro, dude. They can smell my fear. So you got this big AA gun here, pushing the Covenant away, preventing their uh, siege a little bit. go so most of reach um solo legendary is just trying to play kind of methodical if you are a patient player no issues man that is so cool though look at the fight going on over there Ooh, a goth hog all right cat i'm leaving you you'll you'll just spawn on us i'm not waiting the 20 minutes it's gonna take for you to get over here come on goth hog marine one shot that dude dude goth hogs so money so money. I wonder if I can take this with me. I can't remember. Oh, 
Come on, cat, open that gate. My goshawk bro is about to get blown up. That's right, you can't take it with you. I'm sure there's a way to lift it up and over, but this will work for now. Rawr, 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 rawr. So in this next section, if you can conserve grenades, you will be very happy because we are about to fight a new enemy. And if I remember right, this this fight can be kind of uh, tough on Legendary Solo. Yep, Hunter time. And this part solo takes a hot minute, if I remember correctly. Yeah, like I said, if you can save grenades, uh, this section, it pays off in gold to have a decent chunk of grenades. Oh, snipes, I forgot about that. I forgot there's a sniper rifle here. So the hard part with being a solo player and the hunters is their weak points of their armor is behind them. And so actually getting damage behind them is kind of tough unless your AI teammates decide to rotate for you. There we go. Cat's doing what I want her to do right now. There we go. One down. Once one's down, uh, this becomes a fairly simple affair. There we go. Cool. Where's our orbital support? What? 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 Okay. <laughs> we were floating there for a hot minute. I need a precision weapon. Having a shotgun is not gonna cut it for this. Also, craziest boardroom entryway thing ever. I guess it's not really a boardroom, is it? It's just an entry platform. Cat, could you go and push him? Cause I don't have a precision weapon. And it would make life a lot easier if you would. Okay, fine. That's fine too, cat. That's really, that's just fine. That's fine. The concussion rifle. Boom. Yeah, confirm. And now we're on the sword base map. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that the Marines that you see at the bottom of the screen, those names I think are randomized and they're also like people who worked at Bungie. I can't remember if that's the case, but I'm almost positive that is. Like every time you play through it, it would be like a different name apparently. And they're they're Bungie devs who worked on, on Bungie games back then. Oh, I'm gonna die, because I'm bad. You know what I would love is a precision weapon. That would make this thing a lot easier. Go, go get those, go, go, go Marines, go. Whoa, look how many Marines. Do any of you have a DMR? No, none of you do. I'm disappointed in you. Whoa, what a strafe, dog. What a strafe. Next level elite strafing, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we just got this homie left. Easy mode, engaged. Sure, tracking works perfect in campaign, but when you do this on multiplayer, yeah, good luck. Good luck. It is a pretty epic conclusion to um, a big mission, and I think this one more so showcases like the size and scale that you can expect from Reach missions. Winter contingency is pretty short. But it's such a great visual, like, very impressive. And that is mission number two, Legendary Solo. A little bit harder, has a few points that can slow you down, but for the most part, not too difficult. Should be, should be easy for anybody who's uh, using weapons pretty effectively. Those plasma pistols, man, make the elites easy work. Hardest point is probably the hunters, I think. Farewell, Corvette. Boom! Mac rounds for the win. Beautiful, ain't it? 
Someone should take a picture. Nice work, by the way. I aim to please. Five, six, get down to the science wing. Dr. Halsey wants a debrief and command saying we're all hers. Repeat? Sounded like you said Halsey. I did. Copy that on our way. Don't need command to tell me. Been all hers half my life. I requested your assistance, Commander, and do not need a report on events that occur on my own doorstep. What I do require is a detailed account of your previous engagement. George, it's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. Visegrad Relay. Its data center was home to one of my Xeno-archaeologists, Professor Laszlo Sorvad. Perhaps you could shed some light on his death. If he was a civilian male in his mid-sixties, he died with a Covenant energy sword through his abdomen. Elites, then. They engaged us as well. It was just, uh, just after we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the... Irrelevant. Uh... The elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of him. Zealots. You're certain? Their armor configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class. No doubt they came to the station for the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend to. Like warning the planet. Professor Sorvad's final entry in his field notes made reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole contains it. Cat? Before you ask, I was alerted at the moment you attempted to access its contents, as I am with any unauthorized tap. That data is classified Tier 1. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive. Winter contingency? I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. So Halsey's still Halsey. Mom? That will be all, George. So, something, something, covenant, like, uh, artifacts for religion, something, something else. Yeah, latch key. I looked that up. That's, like, the key on the outside of a front door. So, I'm guessing it means, like, this was a really big deal discovery. Uh, but with that, uh, we will see you guys in the next video for the next two missions of Halo Reach Legendary Campaign Solo Playthrough. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter. And the next mission is pretty rad. Nightfall. Catch you next time.